you've been watching me for a while, you've seen a number of videos on flashlights and other lighting and so on. Um, I really am still liking that little Lucy inflatable lantern, but this is going to be a little different. You've seen a lot of the big tack lights and you know, through night lights and stuff that are two, three hundred bucks in Canada or around 150 to 300. This is not them. This is something totally different that I think is a nice little piece of kit. So stay tuned. I'm Dean. This is the Alberta Bushcrafter channel. Let's see what you think. There is a reason I'm doing this in low light because of course we are talking about flashlights. And as I mentioned in the intro, I've done a few of these. So this is still my hands-on favorite. This is the Phoenix E41. And it's a beautiful, oh, yeah, it's a beautiful light. It's even worse, here's turbo. Mm, that's actually painful. Ugh. At least I didn't shine it in the lens. It takes a minute or so for the camera to recover. But Phoenix C41, I like this. It's kind of a compact flashlight, not quite a tack light, but that's not the topic of discussion. The topic of discussion is we're going a different direction tonight, and that is with small lights. So this is the first one. I really uh, I kind of like it. This is just the I'll let's get the key out of the way. That's just the Ultimate Survival Technologies Pico flashlight. Pico being, I mean, look at the size of it compared to my finger here. It's not big at all. It's like one digit. It's just a little one LED lamp. It's just a little tiny LED pen light. Not even a pen light. It's a micro flashlight. I like it. It actually, this one I have had for over a year and I've just replaced the batteries. In pitch black, these are really good. Just the slightest bit of light to see your way around. These are not expensive either. I think they're only in about the $10 range or so Canadian. It's a nice little emergency light in case you don't want to carry around a big tack light or anything like that. Drawbacks are it's not very bright at all. I mean, well, it's a pen light, not supposed to be. Um, the other drawback I found, though, is it's operated by a little twist mechanism right there. You actually twist it. One of the drawbacks is I've come to the point sometimes if it's on your keychain and hanging around in your pocket, uh, sometimes that can twist the other way and open up, and that's how you replace the batteries. That's really a minor concern, given the portability and so on. The biggest drawback I've seen, though, is the replacement batteries. This takes LR41 batteries, and I don't find them to be very... Well, I've actually checked a few different big box stores like Canadian Tire and Walmart, and they're like, oh, we don't carry those anymore. So what good is that if you can't find the batteries for them? It's nice. I had it for a year. It does the job. It's a nice little good emergency piece of kit. It keeps its charge a long time. This year, however, got a second one. You're not going to see it too well. Oh, we'll, we'll try this. We'll actually light it up with the other light. This is the Phoenix. Ah, see that name here. LD02 pen light. And what's interesting it is almost the size of the battery it takes. And that's one of the huge things I love about this little lamp. This one I've had for about five months, so this is no unboxing or anything. It is, this is an honest to goodness review. So we'll try this, get a bit more light. So this is an honest to goodness, I don't know if that's gonna work, but this is an honest to goodness review of this little flashlight. It takes, what I love about it, it takes one triple A cell. So you don't run into the issues with Okay, it takes three triple A's, which I just, I hate that. Because, I mean, you got to literally buy a four pack and a two pack of triple A's. Or three, four packs and always have batteries. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. 
Um, I like the fact you're using one AAA battery. You're not using some proprietary size. So here we go. Move the light down a bit. Nice thing about this, it's got a push button switch on the back. So this is normal. Lumen ratings will be below. Three settings, no SOS. So high, medium, which is default, and low. Look at these again. You start on a medium, and go down to low, and that's high or turbo. Yes, sorry for the vapor here. I think it's kind of cool, because it's exactly <laughs> minus three Celsius out here. So here's the thing. I mean, this, I find it's in, it's not entirely cheap. Again, I'm not flogging a piece of expensive gear on you, but this is a great little light. Uh, because, mostly because it's got three different settings. The batteries are very inexpensive, and that's a huge selling point with this. I know, we're almost blacking out here. It's so dark. But that's what you do when you're doing flashlight reviews. So, yeah, I figured I'd do the whole thing in the dark. Not sure if that's a great idea. If you're going to troll or anything like that, reserve your comments for someone else. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it does. This is a flashlight. It lights your way. You know, it sheds light on things. This chaps have three different settings. Lasts quite long. Easily replaceable. This is staying in my kit. Shroud that a bit. Yeah. This little guy is staying in my kit. And hope your eyes haven't gotten too wiped out here. Let's hit it on low. Yeah, so it's three press. It's on and off tail switch on this and a three position. Uh, it's also got th three positions on the switch. Just three presses and you cycle through them. So anyways, nice little piece of kit. I really like this little pen light. So... Like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. I think it's important to have a backup flashlight like this for you know non-bushcraft emergencies, for your EDC, whatever. And it's solid aircraft aluminum. Uh, threads are nice on it. It's not gritty or any way. Like it's a very solid light. Anyways, that's it for this one. My name's Dean. Thanks for watching the Alberta Bushcrafter channel. Take care and good day.